Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the Lost Realm. This is it, kids. Draculesty Manor. Home of the legendary Drake von Vladstone. Heir to the coin of the Lost Realm. Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, uh, Uncle Scrooge, we're not going to break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this. The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook says Drake von Vladstone was best known by his nickname, Count Dracula Duck. <sighs> Is there really a monster in there, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Right! Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Uh, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus-pocus. But you better stick close to me, just in case. Now you boys stay put and keep an eye on Wee Webigale. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, oh, nuts. We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge. Don't worry. I'll be back with the coin before you can say E Pluribus Unum. E Purple Bus Whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah, we're not afraid of uh, whatever's hiding out there, uh, are we? You boys are so mean. I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark. Wait, Webby! Oh, no! Huey, Dewey, Louie! Will they be all right, Uncle Scrooge? Of course. Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here, and I'll be back with the lads lickety-split.
Yo! I'm out of here. Hey, that wasn't a ghost at all. It was a beagle boy in disguise. Trying to beat me to my treasure, no doubt. But it'll take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that beagle boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. Twist me, Tartan. It's an ancient rune. You mean like a magic spell? Aye, lad. At least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. It's a diamond the size of my... Mrs. Wiggly. to look at me like I was lunch. Well, next time he'll think twice before scrapping with Scrooge McDuck. Speaking of scraps, he dropped this hunk of Scrooge. Ah, it looks like another piece of that torn up sorcery. Ah, uh, say what? A magic spell, and it's nearly complete. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew where to start looking. Well, that bungle boy did say this house has an illusion wall. Uh, do you think he meant... Of course, a secret passage. Oh, no wonder I've been having so much trouble finding anything around here. Good lad. Now, off you go. I need you to wait at the entrance with the others.
It's uh, tough without your army helmet, eh? <laughs> oh, wait till the gang in Sing Sing finds out you were knocked flat by an old guy and his cane. <laughs> yeah, thank you, lad. Yeah? Well, you better be careful where you go poking around, McDuck, or you's gonna have much bigger problems than me. So long. Now, what do you suppose he meant by that? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, quick, lad, see if there's a scrap of paper lying about. Uh, you mean like this one, Uncle Scrooge? Exactly. This is the last piece of the riddle. But well, what to do? That's what I'm about to find out. Quick, lad, go meet Webby and the others at the entrance. And all of you, stay put. No in. 
to this madness? Is there no end to this madness? Nearly lost my hat on that one. Is there no end to this madness? Lost my hat on that one. Oh. Up I go. Mrs. Beakley, what are you doing here? Why, I'm seeing that you get a proper meal, Mr. McDuck. You're worth your weight in gold, Mrs. Bickley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Huh. Of course. But I'll find my own way out, thank you very much. There's a treasure nearby. I can smell it. Look at that luster. Ow! Black as midnight in here. Ah, oh, well. I didn't get rich by backing away from that challenge. Now that's what I call a ruby. Didn't I get rich by backing away from my challenge? Watch this. Part of the spell matches the inscriptions on this mirror. Luck of the ducks! I solved the riddle! Uh, what riddle, Uncle Scrooge? Boys, I thought I told you to stay with Webby. They did stay with me, Uncle Scrooge. I'm right here. Oh, what a pretty mirror. Aye, lass. And if I'm right, using this spell will reveal the foul perpetrator behind all these shenanigans. <laughs> Magic at the spell. Ach, I should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, Scroogey, my old friend. You wouldn't believe how much fun it is watching you run around making a fool of yourself. What? <laughs> oh, you really don't think you need ancient sorcery to find Coin of Lost Realm, do you? No, 
I had Beetle Boy's hide paper scraps to throw you off trail. Why, you sneaky, conniving... Please, save compliments for garden party. What garden party? The one I will throw in celebration when I get home with Lost Coin. So long, fools! <laughs> Gee, she is a very nice. You said it, Webby. All right, you kids stay here. I'm going to track down that witch and give her a piece of my mind. Why must you always meddle? That coin is mine! Your mirror and beam spells. It's the last time I shop for spell ingredients at this count store. You haven't seen lots of magic at the spell. You may have coin of lost realm, but your number one dime will soon be mine. Magica will keep out of our way now, Uncle Scrooge. It's hard to say, lad. 
Folks like her have a way of popping up at the most inconvenient moments. Well, when it comes to Magicka, there's no such thing as a convenient moment. Too true, Louie. Now then, where to next, lads? <laughs>